on the art frame when you receive this out of the box the, the time and the date are not programmed or the program to the default date of 2006 so to change that you go through your main menu and you hit escape and you scroll down to settings and then you scroll down to the system settings Where you, where you can change the date, the time, and the language. So we hit the enter button. I can, before I can change the date, I have to enter a password. And the default password is 0001. So we get to that by enter, 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 up arrow, enter, and now we have access. Now I've previously programmed this but uh, so to today's date, which is May 1st of 2020, we can also then set the time. Again, using the up and down arrows and the enter button. I've also set today uh, the, the time or approximate time that I'm taping this. Now it's important to remember that these settings will only hold in the device while it's powered. So upon startup or installation in most MCCs, the product has a 24 volt power supply connected to it, which once you apply power and keep power on that 24 volt circuit, all of these settings will remain the same, at least the time and the date. All the protection settings will stay stored within the breaker. So I hit after I had the date and time, I hit enter. If you wanted to change the language, you could do that. We're, already, we're set in English, which is the only language I speak, so uh, for the purposes of this demo, we'll do that. Okay, so now we'll go out by hitting the escape button. We're to the main menu. And if there were current flowing, we could see the current values in I1, I2, and I3. Since this is an unpowered demo, and to let you know what I'm working from is it's uh, one of our displays. Okay, so from the main menu, you'd hit the escape key, and then we would set up our protections. So I'll hit the enter key, enter key, and just like most breakers, it's going to have long, short, instantaneous, and if you have um, maintenance mode on the breaker, you'll be able to set, uh, enable that and set the value. So let's, let's just go through uh, typically how we set the standard breaker. So I'm going to start with the line protection. Okay, so the first sub menu under line protection is functions. We'll hit enter. We want to use the inverse time delay. So that's um, K or time is equal to K divided by um, current squared, so it's an inverse time. So I'll hit enter to select that. That's a standard um, protection. Then we want to look at the, the current of the device, or set the current of the device, or the threshold L1. And 
And so in this case, the breaker is set at its minimum setting. It's adjustable from 0.4 to one time the setting. So let's, uh, let's set it at 80%. As an example, there's, I'm, I'm just using that number. There's no reason particular. However, this is a 2000 amp breaker and at 80% of the rating, you can see that it's now, we've set the long time to, to uh, 80% or 1600. Okay, so we've set the long time at 1600, excuse me, the long current to 1600 amps or 80% of the rating on the breaker. Next, we would set T1. So we've got that at 30 seconds. And uh, we'll, we'll reference a, the, the setting curves to show you the effect of what this does. We'll go through the curves separately. Next, we'll set the thermal memory. This on is telling me that's turned on, but I'll just confirm that by using the arrow button. And there we have the choice of thermal protection on or off. And actually UL will require in November of 2021, all electronic trip units to have thermal memory and that uh, it won't be an option on uh, UL versions of breakers to, to not have thermal memory. So we suggest to, to leave this on. Okay, we, we've set the long time. Now we're going to do the, the short time and the value of that. So we can hit the enter button and then we can, that's a multiple of what our rating is. So we'll show you that. So we can set that, say, at seven and a half times, then that'll give us uh, help to find our time current curve. We show that in a PDF uh, where that uh, shows up in the curve. Enter. And that's been saved. Then we can look at, we can set the, the time. And the, the time, this T2 is actually the intersection on the curve for the short time or, or time two. We can set that again using your um, selectivity or your manual for how you want to have selectivity, set this value. And again, thermal memory. Because we're using this to protect the um, wires or bus bar, we, all, we want the thermal memory on so that if we did have a trip, we do have an accelerated uh, trip time or on, on a warm breaker. So we'll just say on. Uh, we've set thermal memory. Now we want to set our instantaneous protection. Perfect. We've enabled it. So that's I or it's our instantaneous or, or it's called I3 when we look at the current protections. So we're going to look at the threshold or what the setting value is. It's currently set at four times. I'll set it up a little. I'll set it a little bit higher so that we don't, we always want um, our protections like the instantaneous to be greater than say our short term rating so we don't have nuisance tripping. And we can see that when you look at the uh, curves documentation that we have. So I've 
I'm gonna set it up. Let's see, so we don't have a nuisance trip. And we not we'd normally on the size breaker never have like a motor driven directly from it. So let's give it say an eight times. If I can get to eight. There we go. Okay, and you can see that we've set the I3 or the instantaneous trip at eight times. Okay, so we set the, the, the instantaneous portion at eight times. And notice that we don't have a time delay. It's what exactly what it says, instantaneous, and it'll trip once the current reaches uh, 16,000 amps, in this case of the breaker, um, or 16.2, because it's 8.1 times the rating of the breaker. Escape. And then we'll set maintenance mode. We've enabled it. And enabling maintenance mode means that we've turned the breaker into a mode where we have a, an external contact, that closure that will uh, turn the breaker into maintenance mode or adjust the instantaneous trip time so that we can trip faster um, in a situation where there's a, say, a short circuit or arcing going on downstream, we can reduce the amount of energy by lowering the, the instantaneous value. So then we look at the threshold. It's adjustable from 1.5 to, to four times the rating of the breaker, uh, depending upon how close, what kind of selectivity and or uh, protection you want. You can adjust this. Generally, this is set when people are going to be in close proximity to the breaker or the enclosure, and you may want to, to use a uh, presence sensing device as the input to this. So you've got a very low uh, threshold where this breaker will trip off. If, that, uh, if you have people in that area outside the enclosure a lot, you may choose um, a, a different level, but for our demonstration, I'll just show you how to set it. It's set at 1.7 or 3,400 amps, and if so if you saw arcing faults or short circuit current um, greater than that, the, the breaker would trip. So at 3,400 amps, the breaker is going to trip versus the, the 16,000 we had before in the, in the standard eight time, or not the standard, but in the eight time setting we set earlier for the I3. So now I've scrolled to the ground protection. Okay, now we're at ground protection. I've enabled, it's enabled. Hit enter, it's on. Hit escape to go back out. Look at the function. And th this can be either instantaneous or a, a thermal response. Um, choice is up to you, uh, depending upon what type of um, ground leakage or ground faults you may have. I'm gonna leave it at a constant. Nor normally, what many of our customers use the, if we have a ground current above a set value, we want the breaker to trip instantaneously. So that's how this is set up, where the T equals K. And here's the, the ground fault or I4 value. In this case, it's set, it's a big breaker, it's, um, uh, a 2000 amp breaker, it's set at 20% of the rating or 400 amps. Um, depending upon where this is installed, this setting um, 
can vary, but it can go all the way down to 20% uh, and up to 100% of the rating of the breaker. Uh, let's leave it 26%. Enter. Sorry. So I set it at 26%. You can see, and that's set at it for an instantaneous trip on ground fault of 520 amps. Okay, we've now set the ground fault. We're done programming the device. So if we're happy with the settings, we will then confirm. And the circuit breaker display then confirms that the changes we've made to it have been implemented. Now after we set our protections, there are some other menu items that are available to us. Uh, such as measurements, and this is really just telling us a little bit about the breaker and what it's seen. So the historicals is going to tell us, um, like, you've had a trip, it'll give us the trip history. And you can see that we had a, a trip here. Uh, we had a phase that was at 3,214 amps. Uh, if this device continuously powered, as most our frame breakers are in the MCC, so from the time you program the timing, keep 24 volts on the uh, power supply, you'll have a, a history with the cur current date. This was obviously trip during, during test, but if there was multiple trips, that was the last trip. Let's see if we can... So you can see we've had multiple trips on this breaker. And generally we do that in the factory to test the, the, the ability of the breaker to trip. So brief history there. We can escape and come back to this uh, main menu again. Okay, we're back at the main menu and we've looked at the, the trips. Now we can take a look at the events. And in the event log, you can see on uh, May 1st, 2020, we updated uh, parameters. Now. And I believe that's the last. Yeah. And then there were, there were some other previous modifications made uh, during demonstrations, but you can see each of each of those uh, by, by scrolling through the device. The date you can tell is early on, very close to the production date. I'm assuming that there were, uh, these primers were turned on during our, our programming and testing of the device at the factory. Okay, from the events log, we can hit escape back to the main menu and look at measurements. And since we have no power um, on this device, This would gen generically um, go through uh, every time power has been applied to, to the breaker or the breaker has been closed. You can see we've got no, no current readings there. So we can escape out of that, and go back to our menu. So we can also reset the measurements. So um, to to, to the last um, set to the last measures that you've made, which 
So I'll, I'll hit the enter button. That resets the measurements. If I hit escape. If I hit measurements again, I look at IMAX. And that takes us back to, today, to today's date. Um, and the, the measurement we had on power up, which was nothing. We were unpowered um, from a power perspective. So we can hit escape. And go back to our measurements menu. If we're gonna look at the peak factor, I dot will have anything here because we've never run current through this device. And I've reset the measures. Uh, another interesting, not interesting, but just a, a, a function of this device is it, it will provide you the estimated contact wear. And so at this point, um, we've worn 0% of the contacts away. We've never um, switched it under load. So as um, the more this breaker might be turned on or off or tripped, due to thermal or short circuit, that number of, of contact wear will increase until the point where um, it will indicate that there's no contact material left where it goes to 100%. The next item is the breaker settings. Okay. Um, there's eight settings here. You can see it's one, one of eight here. So if you look at the circuit breaker, and I'm hitting enter, and so it's going to set the device up for or the protections up for the breaker as uh, for how it's wired. So in this case, it's a three pole breaker. So our options are going to be three pole or three pole plus neutral. This is a three pole. We'll hit escape. We can set the, the protection frequency. And so being in the States, I'm going to set it for 60 Hertz. If there's any additional modules installed in the breaker, So we, we, this breaker does, it will have the ability to um, be installed on a communication bus. Um, so it's looking for a local bus unit. And um, when we hit enter, there's nothing installed in, in the particular breaker. So it can escape. So we're back at our, our settings menu. Okay, so we can look at the data logger that can be enabled. So it's on right now. You can configure the sampling rate, which means how often do you take um, a picture? Um, at this point, this is a nice to have. We do not have a tool today that will allow you to download this and, and show you uh, the, the actual historicals at this point in time as far as the sampling. But that will be a, a future offering. 
and then you have a, st um, a stop event that tells you when to stop. We can enter. And in this case, it's set to any trip. You can have a delay, so you continue after, say, some event of an imbalance. You can uh, continue to record the data uh, after the after the triggering event has has occurred. You can also rest restart. and set the stop. Uh, today those functions are not supported in software. Uh, when we do release communications, those, those will be supported. The breaker also has a, um, a test function. And so we can see the, the status. And uh, while we were away, I did turn the breaker on using the um, push button here. Escape. We can go run through a, an auto test where the trip unit itself runs through diagnostics. We also have a trip test where we can actually trip the circuit breaker um, from the menu. Uh, I don't know if, how many people would do this in operation, but you, you could do that. Okay, the last item we can do is the about. So we can enter and we can hit enter again for the protection unit. It'll give us the, the serial number, what type of test unit it is, what the uh, protection type is, and it's UL49, and then the software revision. We can back out and then we can talk about the, or view what more details about the circuit breaker. Come on, Scott. And basically, it shows us the 2000 amp serial number again, three pole device, uh, and it's rated at uh, 2000 amps. The uh, thing to note on, on these breakers is that you can put rating plugs in, and that value, the rated current, will change. So you could put an 1800 or 1600 amp uh, rating plug in there and change the, the rating of the breaker. Actually, in this particular breaker, you, you could put up to a 2,500 amp reading plug in there. This is a 2,500 amp um, MCCB. So that takes us through the setup and the display portion of, of the menu. If you have any questions, please let us know. Uh, thank you.